The message you're about to listen to is a message from Apostle Eric Nyamiche, the chairman of the Church of Pentecost. Apostle Eric Nyamiche preaches the gospel in its simplest form to help the believers walk in Christ and also how the believer relate with his world. This year, the message is on unleashing the church to possess nation. Join us and let's learn from Apostle Eric Nyamiche and be a blessing to the world. If you are new to this page, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so that when new videos are uploaded, you can have access to it. Make sure you go to our own page and check out for more videos. Thank you. Today we want to look at suppressing bitterness. Suppressing bitterness. To suppress is not to subdue. Now to subdue is to conquer. Now so we are not saying that the person has conquered the bitterness, but the person is trying to suppress bitterness. So there is a force within that this person wants to suppress. So it builds some kind of tension within that person's line. So we are saying that the person has not subdued the bitterness as in conquering the bitterness, but the person is suppressing the bitterness. Now to suppress is to forcefully try to put an end to to forcefully try to put an end to it also means to prevent the development and action or expression of a feeling or of an impulse or of an idea. So you are trying to prevent the development. You are trying to prevent the expression. Now of, of a feeling. Or of an impulse or of an idea or of an action. So to suppress is to restrain. There is an element of force in suppressing. So suppressing a bitter feeling produces tension within the person carrying the bitterness. Now unless such people release the bitterness they carry they will never be free see at this stage this fellow holding on to an, the, an offense seems to have been overcome rather by the bitter spirit to the extent that they can no longer play hypocrisy with it. No, it's not like the one who is repressing, who sometimes will say, Praise the Lord, hallelujah. But this one, this one cannot look at your face. This one cannot look at your face. Second Samuel chapter 13. Verse 20 through 22. I want you to listen to this message, not pointing to someone, but look at your own heart. Yesterday, we, we buried a very important personality. He's gone. So, <laughs> the better you work on your heart, otherwise, nobody will come to your funeral. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So 2 Samuel chapter 13 verse 20. Her brother Absalom said to her, Has that Amnon, now look at the way he's describing his brother. Now has that Amnon, your brother been with you? Be quiet for now, my sister. 
he is your brother don't take this thing to heart and Tamar lived in her brother Absalom's house a desolate woman and in your Absalom bisano say wunua amnon any wada na na afei minua mua wano or your wunua and for a kuma and two as him ye so now Tamar the Agriot na Ninua Absalom fee kum now verse twenty one when King David heard all all this he was furious you might you know but I couldn't say now you need to with tea and same you know no you both for you 22 and Absalom never said a word to Ammonon either good or bad he hated Ammonon because he had disgraced his sister Tamar oh to us well saying Absalom ne Ammonon and Kasa Boni and our papa now Absalom Tane Ammonon now see they are supposed to have been living in a compound house i don't know when no what if you if you grow more amnon is supposed to be the big brother the heir to the throne of israel amnon no you won't know your penny are with the akunya david actually now he rapes absalom's last sister and absalom is so angry and for two years he never said anything good or bad to his brother Amnon. Or ni 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 aba edaya nemfa kwa impaso na we no trust him say ni ni Absalom ni bufu yia oni no anka sakura be ye mfie mi. But I suspect that Absalom might have had some issues with Amnon, and this one just uh, maybe escalated it because of the description has that Amnon has that amnon you see because everybody knows that the first son is supposed to be the king when the when when the old man dies and somehow absalom in the latter days we realized that he also wanted the throne there should have been some tension and i think that this one just escalated it majidi say absalom na wenya ni nua no homa na se pobi dada enti wona mu ko nyina no na bia na sem bi xeho na we betwa mu keke na majidi say no e be pegi asem no kura People who suppress bitter feelings raise blocks against any form of communication. Now you should do very well to live with your brother in a compound house and for two years not speak any word to him, either good. No bad. Obey to me when you are bema at not few crumb, not be a few me, no, only in you come up here, not just also. Oh, they raise they raise blocks against any form of communication. You better take this and bring them and we see first of all, it's here. I am Kofa and I'm Kumu. And they use the silence as a weapon. Now, in marriage, the women use it as a weapon against the men. Some men also can raise these blocks against their wives. Or they can use this silence as a form of control. Control over their emotions. Especially men. They, they just be, they are quiet. In that state, was that to Strong emotions such as fear and anger are building up on the inside. And and anger. Now we to me the focus here. Now so they are quiet. They are not saying anything good or bad, but on the inside, fear and anger are building inside. One kasa kura na uswo muno ehu sro ene ebufu e nini kasi. And it may lead to all forms of distractions that are unimaginable and that are innumerable that you cannot number now we a bit to me they saying you you need to see about a bragging and in tears you see the greatest function of communication 
is not to pass information and receive information. Now, but to build relationship. Now, I want you to hold this into your spirit. That the greatest function of communication is not to pass on information or receive information, but to build relationship. So what does this mean in the context of the study? Such silence destroys relationships. If you want to destroy your marriage quick and fast, Stop talking to your husband. You'll tell yourself that you are justified. But you see, not talking means destroying. Destroying relationships. Family relationships. Business and working relationships. And all forms of relationships. If they will have to communicate at all. It is others. No. He is, he is issuing instruction. Directives. Directives. Commands. Threats. Warnings. Criticism. Charging. Blaming. Now they won't talk. But if they have to talk, what you hear will not be palatable at all. I want you to bow down your head. What is the state of your heart? And what is going on in your marital life? What about your workplace? What is going on? Blessed are the pure in heart. For they shall see God. And one and will be who Amen. Amen. Genesis 37. Now verse 4. Genesis 37 verse 4. When his brothers saw that their father loved him more than any of them, they hated him and could not speak a kind word to him. Now, Somehow, biologically, God made sure that the tongue goes up to uh, the stomach. So that whatever is uttered at should come straight from within. So the tongue goes deeper. Then God gives some small. So what you see is longer than what comes out. So when there is bitterness within, and against someone, the tongue will pick that bitterness from within. And then before words come, come out, they are bitter words. So the tongue will come out. When someone is bitter and the person wants to insult you. So you can look at your whole physique. Then say, look at your nose. And then your nose to you yourself, you know that your nose. <laughs> you can't do anything about what he has said. When you go home and you take the mirror, your nose. <laughs> they will tell you something that you will regret forever. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> So when his brothers saw that their father loved, that is Joseph, more than any of them, 
they hated him and could not speak a kind word to him. See, bitter people get to this stage of trying to suppress the bitter feeling or the bitterness because of compounds of offenses. Compounds of offenses. Genesis 37. Now we're going to read at these offenses and how they build up. Pressure on the inside. Are we together? Okay, so from verse 2. This is the account of Jacob's family line. Joseph, a young man of 17, was tending the father's flock with his brothers, the sons of Bilhah and the sons of Zippah. His father's wives, that is their concubines, he brought, now listen to this, their father a bad report about them. Normally, you see, normally people feel that it was the dream that he dreamed that made it, but yeah, this is the beginning. It, it, it started long ago. Yes. Because of the bad reports he brings to the father, the brothers did not like him. So, Offense number one. Let's move on. Now Israel loved Joseph more than any of his other sons. He, because he had been born to him in his old age, and he made an ornament robe for him. Now his son said, Joseph, yeah. This also was a problem. Offense number two. Mm -hmm. When his brothers saw that their father loved him more than any of them, they hated him and could not speak a kind word to him. What now let's come to the big one. Joseph had a dream, comma. Joseph <laughs> See when you have a dream, put comma. Yeah, don't just don't be telling people about your dreams. Don't just be sharing people to, to, with, with people about your dreams, the dreams of what you want to do and all that. Please be careful the people you share your dreams with. I'm not talking about sleeping and seeing angels, but I'm even talking about having some ideas. Be careful, otherwise, there are certain people they will abort the dream and then later on they will adopt it. So Joseph had a dream, comma. And when he told his brothers, comma, they hated him. Now all the more. What that means is that there was some hatred, and this one is making it worse. He said to them, It's going to open up. <laughs> but he's a small boy. But you are grown, so don't open up too much to some people. To some people. I'm saying some people. Now he said to them, Listen to this dream I had. We were building sheaves of grain out of the field when suddenly my chef rose and stood upright while your sheaves 
gathered around mine and bowed down to it. Because you know that there's a problem in the house. And that since Abraham, it was normal that Ishmael should have been uh, somebody who would have inherited uh, the blessing. But he went to Isaac. And then between Esau and Jacob, it was supposed to have gone to Esau. And he went to Jacob. Now, 12 young men have been born into the same house. Everybody is, knows that now, because of history, it can go any way. And then you have a dream. Say, come and listen to my dream. <laughs> they will abort it. Okay, said, yeah, Joseph, Okasa, Enoa, Na, Akuran, Wadiye, His hand said, Ose, She, Na, Yeri, Chichire, A, U, F, E, F, E, We, Fu, M, Na, Me, Fi, Sori, Jina, Mefino, a original chibbing, Nashe, Mefino, a cha, Mefino, a CI. Sanse, said they are not all Casano, a Bacosimu, I was a few on a normal cosono, not just a Namoquia, a beer nippers to say, a befasson on so, a to me done it. Now, so when we walk away, actually, one would name a more Bacosemno. What would you say, Diane? Verse eight. Yet was when you His brother said to him, Do you intend to reign over us? Will you actually rule us? And they hated him all the more. If I was to write the Bible, I would say all the more, the more. Because we have already heard all the more. And so this one is all the more, the more. And then you are not going to catch them and say, Would you be dear and so, and answer, Would you be dear and so to me? Now, the dying not moon same empty, what cause so a tiny no ara. Yeah, because of his dream and what he has said. Be careful of bitterness. They are like cancer cells. They keep multiplying if you allow it to grow. So this is Joseph Joseph's brother. Joseph the tension has been building in the home and building in them. We wish now how near many away a year can see with the animal power anymore. The Biarada na a coso. Fine. In fact, this kind of posture where people suppress bitterness leads to rebellion. I don't know, sir. Yaw de a quack could do baby and nippon or chair yaw de nusua. It took me to be a because of the pain feeling of anger within they just break forth one day and then they rebel are you here such people resist authority they resist control when you say stop stop no they will not stop and they resist convention the convention the normal things they will want also want to resist second samuel 13 verse 23 second samuel 13 23 two years later now absalom has not been talking to his brother amnon for two years and the scripture says two years later when absalom's sheep sharers were at bar Hazo, near the border of ephraim he invited all the king's sons to come there if you mean which are absalom any new abeman and kasayeno just him they say absalom ma woku chicha ninja mo wo bal hazo a Benny Ephraim no na Absalom shia on hine ma nunina mwoko ho. Now verse 28, please. 28. Absalom ordered his men, listen, when Ammonon is in high spirits from drinking wine, and I say to you, strike Ammon, Ammon down, then kill him. Don't be afraid. Haven't I given you this order? Be strong and brave. Now he has to tell them that don't be afraid because he knows that the servants will not want to do that they revere Amnon more than himself so he he want to resist their control he says i have commanded you do it and so now absalom ashe nimrantie no say 
monhwe na se amnon bron satam na me se mo se mummon amnon na munkuno munsuro anyame ana mahyemo munya den na munya mo ho emerema 29 says that so absalom's men did to amnon what absalom had ordered then all the king's sons got up mounted their mules and fled they ran away absalom emrantie no eye amnon said the absalom share won no na ohine emmanu nyina sorry sorry tena tena wo mfunum so gani gani people who suppress bitterness eschew the face and the presence of the supposed offender nipa wo chie yawdie so no bribia mu no nya wo di ne ho yawo no wo mpese wo be even though they don't want to see the supposed offender they still track his movements na wo mpese wo be hunu no kura no da bia wani edi na chi you can ask Saul, he will tell you about how he was tracking the movement. The voice, like Joseph's voice, in the years of his brothers, excites them anger. But it annoys them. But the problem is not Joseph's voice. That's the problem is the condition of the brother's heart. Genesis 37, I think I read from 5 to 8. You can hold that one. You realize that when what he said angered them the more. Okay, can you now? Who is in your car? You know, and my woman who for you. People who suppress bitterness can't address their enemies by name, whether they are present or they are absent. Nipa, what chia ya udiyo suno ni awudi ni ya oru bribi amono wantu min budin krampo so wo so ni wo unpesi wo beboni din. Yes, Genesis 37 from 17. Yeah, if you must have heard that, you know, it is every Samson a thing you must do so no echo. They have moved from there. The man answered. I heard them say, let's go to Dothan. So Joseph went after his brothers and found them near Dothan. Oberimano say, say, we to her, na mete se wore kasa se, mwoma yen ko Dothan. Na Yosef ti ninu anum, na okuhun wong wo Dothan. So let's follow them to Dothan. Let's go and see what is going to happen in Dothan. But they saw him in the, but they saw him in the distance. And before he reached them, they plotted to kill him. Now, that is a brother. To kill him is not a problem for me, but the word day is the problem that I have. How all of them can decide that let's kill him. Now the big one, verse 19. Shall we all read together? Ready, go. Here comes the, here comes that dreamer. And I like the word that. Yeah. Here comes that dreamer. But the father named him dreamer when he gave birth to him. Yeah. Or die and I all ban. They said to each other. Yeah. Here comes that dream. Yeah, that dream. That dream. Come now, let's kill him and throw him into one of these cisterns and say that a ferocious animal devoured him. Then we will see what comes out of his dreams. Mumra yon kuno, nian tunun to am denum nian kase abwa boni bi an yo kuno no na yen shenya na daye anane daye sununina ebe kwa kuvi. Very wicked guys. We wa ye timo dim for pa. Bitter people, those who are suppressing bitterness, they look for the opportune time to revenge on the supposed enemy. Until until then, 
nothing appeases their anger nipa wo chie ya odie so saa no bribia mu no pa kwanya bi se ne be ya wo betumi atua ne a wo di ne ho ya no ka enu nsia wo bonjoy let me read from the new testament this time amen king can if you are pamfu fro nim say say as chapter 23 from verse 12 now here is Paul in Jerusalem. people have been waiting for his life all the while. In Jerusalem. So Agabus prophesied, and the people said, Paul, don't go to Jerusalem. It's dangerous. And the Agabus shall come and and the disciples also restrained him. But he wanted to go. Now, when he arrived in Jerusalem, he went to see James and the big men. And then James advised him. That is quite dangerous here. The people feel that you are destroying Judaism. So do certain things so that at least it will appease their anger a bit. Now he complied, but despite that, let's listen to what is going to go on. Are you together? Uh, those of you here, you are looking at me as Egyptian mummies. <laughs> <laughs> I see. You are thinking of yourselves. <laughs> I'm thinking. I'm thinking about myself. I'm thinking about myself. <laughs> yeah. So, 23 verse 12. The next morning, some Jews formed a conspiracy and bound themselves with an oath not to eat or drink. Until they kill Paul. Now the chain you that for no mobi num Pam Keka won and Tam say worry need now so worry num just say well kum Paul answer. And this was not because they saw his face. This was a pent up feeling for him. Well then chess a wahunu, ne mum, it sounds watching in Kentino with Caesar Ejine. More than forty men were involved in this plot. More than forty men. They, they were not going to eat. They were not going to drink until they killed this man. This is And I'm saying that it, it, it didn't just occur. They have built that kind of feeling for some time. Now, now, such bitter people they do not care about the consequence of their action once it satisfies their ego they are okay Nipa would di out chance to say no and found in your way and be cocoa we the woman is there with me at your penna and no and the bema won't go at let's kill him and let's see what comes out of his dream. What killing a brother, what will you gain? So that the dream will not come true. As we hinted two weeks ago, all this bitterness and unforgiveness is self. Self will do anything to justify a stance. And self really does not care the consequence. You may read Acts chapter 19 from verse 23 to 28 you see a silversmith named Demetrius who made silver shrines of Artemis and because of Paul's preaching and people were repenting and throwing uh, those articles from uh, articles are about uh, what do you call it but they were throwing all their words away. He felt that they were losing money. They were losing money. So he, he organized all those guys in the trade that they should kill Paul. 
Okay, Kaya, Obuka Kumu, you did you phobia na wo Ephesus, Artemis, Bebia na na Hinier no El Coso, and I said, Abuson, some El Coso, no, than Fubia, or Bomodin, sir, or Betchet, Smuff upon a Cassano, say, Sanse, Nania, or Yeno, Smuff upon a Yeno, as say, the Jedi and an Abrabo. As people tend to the Lord. Then his business will also be dwindling. So let's kill him. So this is self. But brothers and sisters, the bottling of such emotions takes its toll physically, mentally, and spiritual. I don't know if I'm saying that you're a person who is 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 a person Sometimes you may think that someone is offending you, but before you say Jack, you're already in the grave. I told you, you say, Obi, and now you be a dear how now so when you're a person who is a person. Before you say Jack, you'll be writing in the air. When you're a person who is a person who is a before you say, Jack, your anointing is drained. Today is a great opportunity to let go of this bitter feeling. It may be compounds of them, but it, the compounds are built within yourself. Today, release them by the power of the Holy Ghost. I want you to rise to your feet. And then get into your own spirit now. Don't say that he did this to me. He did that to me. Offenses will certainly come. But be, be careful of your heart. At the end of the day, the negative effect will be on you yourself. Uh, shall